On every planet in the galaxy, you'll find the flux, a powerful, magical energy. Here on the Killian, we call it the breath. Flux is so strong that it had to be banned, except in galactic football, the most spectacular sport in the universe. But 15 years ago, a mysterious explosion rocked Achillean, swept the breath away, and destroyed our chances in the Galactic Football Cup. 15 years without a decent team, and nothing but snow and ice. Now, hope lives again. Young, new players to revive the breath of Achillean. Our fate is in their hands. Galactic Football. Last time on Galactic Football. You have one half left to prove your worth. May, you really have to put the pressure on to move into the attack. I'd be an even better attacker, coach. I'm sure of it. I'm the one who's sure of things, May. Mr. Ambassador, you must be especially proud of your daughter. You realize, Rocket, I'll be able to stay on the team. I'm so happy for you, Tia, and for me. If we win this match, we go to the cup. The breath. We'll meet again sometime, Arch. If the boy has the breath, then it's no accident. The Metaflux is there for some reason. The glaciation of Achillean! Was that my fault? No one will ever know, as long as you do exactly what I ask. And the magnificent team from Achillean is getting ready to enter galactic football history! Soon, they'll be playing their first round-robin match against the Rikers! Ooh, it's giving me goosebumps. Allow me to introduce you to the players. First, we have Jock, our star attacker, who's still not as good as Micro Ice. Next, there's Thran, our high-powered defender, and Ahito, our sleeper goalie. We also have our captain, Rocket. And there's also the, um, May. Uh, how about a word for the camera? Will you let me buy? Thanks. But what about our story? Oh, go on without me, Tia. I don't feel like playing anymore. Don't worry, Clamp. No one will ever know, as long as you do exactly what I ask. Are you okay, Clamp? You look like you're a million miles away. No, I'm fine. Just have a little headache, that's all. Well, we're almost there. Better take care of the landing. Get ready, kids. We're starting our descent towards Anadar. We'll be landing in seven minutes. There's nothing but clouds. You can't see a thing. Are you sure this is the right planet? Oh, oh, what is that smell? That's the pollution of Anadar. It might make it a little hard for you to breathe. Here, put these on if you need to. Hey, Clamp, is this smoke toxic? Yoo-hoo! Clamp, you with us? Yes. Yes? What's the matter? I was just asking you if this smoke was dangerous for our health. No. No, it won't hurt us if we only stay a few days. Maybe some trouble sleeping, if anything. After 37 days, there's an 83% chance of accelerated mutation. Wow, cool. How do the Rikers manage to live in this, in a world like this? It's been a long time since they've had the same definition of well-being as we do, Tia. That's how it is. They've had to adapt. To survive, you have to adapt. Sometimes for the worse. 
You should put your mask back on, Tia. Looks like we're hard at work here. So, how's your room? Just like yours, minus the TV. Just a few more adjustments, and our should be working. You all right, Tia? I've never seen a landscape this depressing. Don't worry. We'll go home right after we whoop the Rikers. Oh, look. A robot bellhop brought this. Who's this for? It's Maze. Be nice. She's been looking for it everywhere. What? Are you crazy? We have to give that to her. Want to bet he'll be back in five seconds? Always the optimist, I see. Room service. What do you want? Um, you want to join us to watch TV? Um, I found this. Is it yours? Did you return her bag? Yeah, she was thrilled. We'll talk about it later. There it is. I found the Rikers Janet. Hi. About tomorrow's match. I wanted to talk to you about... Shh. Huh? I just have a few things to point out about the Rikers game. Be quiet. Can't you see we're watching something? Charming certainly has a heart of gold. I'm not feeling very well. I'm going to see Dame Simbai. Good night, everyone. All right, we might as well go to bed too. Let's go, man. Good night. After what we saw, only my brother could still sleep. Jock, are you asleep? Jock. You asleep? How do you expect me to sleep with a light shining in my eyes? Sorry, it's just that I can't sleep. <sighs> I'm not surprised, considering. Considering? Considering what? Micro Ice, don't tell me you're the only one who hasn't realized. Realized what? You're in love, man. In love? Are you nuts? Who with? Micro Ice, do you really think I'm that dumb? Listen, Micro Ice, don't get worked up over it. Just play a good game tomorrow. You'll be sure to impress her that way. But to do that, you have to get some sleep. Maybe you're right, Jock. I'm always right. Good night. <laughs> May, you'll be on defense with Thran. That's the position that you're best at, and that's my final decision. You're going to be playing the Rikers in a few hours. Do you think you're ready to go up against Colonel? She's built like a brick wall. We'll see what she's like on the field. Well, you know, we are pretty good at breaking down walls. Rocket, is it true that you're Mr. Archer's nephew? If you are, do you still feel like you're really the captain of the team? Did you know? No. Why didn't he tell us? Rocket is captain because he earned it, not because he's my nephew. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm coming to you live from Unadar Stadium for the Rikers vs. Snow Kids match, the first game of the Galactic Football Cup. As you can see, the atmosphere is charged, and we can expect to see a very tense match, one that looks like it could be difficult for the Snow Kids, who will have to face the powerful Riker players with their infamous Metal Yell. But don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, at the Galactic Football Cup, there are always terrific prizes in store.
see that Arch and his staff have taken their places in their cabin. The match should be starting any time now. All I can say is, go, go, go! There's only one thing we can hope for now. That they don't get caught up in the excitement. Go ahead, Snow Kids. Enjoy yourselves while you can. You're the masters of your destiny now. Go, Snow! Go! go, go. This program is brought to you by Technoid. Life is so much easier with Technoid. Okay. Oh, it's micro ice. Look. are using their metal yell! Come on, Tia! Come on! Whoa! That must hurt! Don't forget that this player weighs 150 kilograms! All muscle! I bet poor Tia felt that! It's okay, nothing's wrong with her. Teamwork, guys! Teamwork! Watch out for her! She won't shoot from 40 meters away. Azizo, wake up! Just play a good game tomorrow. You'll be sure to impress her that way. And not her? They're using the breath. Where were you? You were on defense. Last time I checked. Oh, 
man, things aren't going well for our side. With all the anger and screw-ups from Micro Ice and May. in there it's not over yet okay rocket we know what we have to do just because you're arch's nephew doesn't mean you have to give us lessons what are you looking for huh why are you here to play galactic football now would be a good time to start what did you think that you were going to get presents we can't call up the breath the breath jock appears whenever there's teamwork. So all of you, stop wasting your time dribbling around the galaxy. Play as a team, and the breath will come. Get it into your heads that at this level the matches are merciless. You have to show that you're up to scratch, and you're not. If you keep playing this way, they're going to eat you alive. You hear me? Alive! Wake up! We'll soon see if the Snow Kids manage to recoup at half time. Tia hesitates, then passes to Jock. Jock takes off. Come on! Like that! That's good! Jock is going to use the breath! Finally! She deserves a red card, Mr. Ref! It's okay. Nothing's wrong with him. He's just a little groggy. Let's keep calm. This is only a temporary setback. What? Are you crazy? There was a fault earlier and you didn't blow your whistle, and now there's nothing! Hello? Anybody in there? That's impossible! humbling. What am I saying? It's humiliating!
May, would you hand me your newspaper? Thanks. I think he's just not up to it. Yeah, there's something fishy about being named captain so easily. I think there's some favoritism going on, and that's no good for team cohesion. And he didn't have to prove himself like we did. Right, we're talking about a captain here. You're too hard on him. Besides, it wasn't his fault that we had a crushing defeat. Maybe, but he wasn't able to motivate us. It's my fault. I lost their confidence. It'll all work out. They know you're an excellent player. They also know that I'm Arch's nephew. To them, I'm the coach's little golden boy. You know that's not true, Rocket. Arch is harder with you than the others. Please, Tia, leave me alone. I, I need to be by myself. We're going to land. I'll let you drop your things off, and we'll meet in the debriefing room in ten minutes. Okay, let's begin. Sir, Rocket isn't here. Next time on Galactic Football. Jack, Tia, what's going on? A new training contraption. Can I see? Don't touch that. Rocket's missing. What? You resent me for Rocket, right? You can't just blame us because he split town. Jack, I told you this was a bad idea. If you like your action fast-paced, then stick around for our Super Fast Sonic X special coming up at 10.30. That's ten back-to-back -back episodes from the fastest hedgehog on TV.